everyone, Paige here, back with another video. I'm so excited for today's video because it's actually a haul from one of my favorite cities ever, New York City. I fell in love with New York before I even had the chance to visit, but when I got to intern in New York for an entire summer, I fell even more in love. New York still gives me butterflies. Um, I like to describe it as that person that you're in love with, but you know it's just not good timing for you guys right now, but you're still in love with them. So my best friend Amber decided that she wanted to celebrate her birthday this year in New York because it would be her first time visiting. You can only imagine how excited I was. I have a lot of friends from college that ended up moving to New York after graduation, and I also have some friends that are originally from New York, so I knew that I would have the opportunity to see them, as well as do some shopping and some more sightseeing. So of course, while I was in New York, I did a little bit of shopping. I mean, how could I not? When I look back now, I really don't feel like I got that much stuff even though my credit card seems to say otherwise, but yeah. The first night that we got to New York, we hit up Times Square. I decided we would get the most touristy thing on our itinerary out of the way first. Um, and I also wanted to hit up one of my favorite restaurants, Dallas BBQ. So after we got done with dinner and Amber got to look around Times Square, we decided to do a little bit of shopping because of course New York never sleeps and the stores didn't really close till around 1, 2 a.m. So first we stopped in Forever 21 and I only picked up one thing, these sunglasses. This is how they look on. So yeah, just a cute pair of black shades. So after Forever 21, we hit up H&M. One of the top things on my shopping list was to pick up basics, and I actually picked up two long t-shirts. It's something about long t-shirts right now that I like too. Um, they're great with leggings and jeans. So this is the gray one. They're folded on the sleeves. I thought that was cute. Pretty long. And then I just got a black one as well. And these were only $9.99. So before I move on from H&M, you guys won't believe who I ran into in there. Tiana Taylor. I we were we were just shopping and she was just in there by herself shopping as well and I um, ran over to Amber and I was like I really think that's Tiana Taylor over there and I don't know if I was tripping because we had just went to BBQ's I had a nice big drink but I was positive that was her so I was trying to convince Amber that we should go up to her and say hi um, but Amber wasn't feeling it so because I had a little liquid courage I just <laughs> When I saw her again, I was just like, oh my god, hi Tiana, I'm such a big fan, um, can I take a picture with you? And it resulted in this. <laughs> that was all the shopping that we did the first night. The next day, we got up bright and early and headed straight to Soho. There's amazing shopping in Soho. I love all the little boutiques and the street vendors and it's always a great time. So as soon as we hopped off the train, we ended up running into a sunglass vendor that was on the street and we saw some amazing shades. You guys can hear them click clanking. Um, I actually ended up with two pairs of aviators. Now at first glance, they might be kind of similar, but look, there's a method to my madness. They're not exactly the same. This pair, <laughs> is a little bit thicker on the side. I just thought that was so cool. And in photos, when they reflect, it's just gorgeous. Like they're, I don't even know how to explain it, but when you first look at them, you wouldn't realize it does that in photos. But I think you can kind of see, it reflects like a silver. Here they are, I love these so much. And this pair of aviators is a little more basic with a brown tint, it's a regular brown tint. What y'all think? I love them, I think they're different. A couple, 
we then checked out a couple boutiques and I ended up picking up a few shirts well two shirts and two leotards and you may see a pattern well you definitely will see a pattern there is a pattern <laughs> this is a trend that I've really been into for a while now and I just never got a chance to um, pick anything up like it so I got a bunch of crisscross tops is that what you would call these so I got this shirt as well as the same shirt in nude. These are gonna be so bomb as well in the summer. And even right now, you know, layering, it's all about layering. But yeah, these were each $9.99 and I got them from a store called Mystique. The next store that we went to was actually, I believe it was closing down because everything in the store was 50% off the price that was already uh, marked down on the price tag. I ended up getting another nude top, crisscross top, but this one's actually a leotard, which I love leotards, especially ones, I don't know if you guys care about this, but the ones that have the little snaps, they're so convenient when you're out like... Having to take the entire leotard off and have to go to the bathroom, just, that's too too much. Way too much. So because it's on sale, I believe I got it for $10. I ended up picking up another leotard in this mustard color. Of course, like I said, another crisscross. And this one I got on sale for five bucks, guys. You know I don't play about these deals. As we continue shopping in Soho, we stopped in Brandy Melville. I didn't pick up any clothes there, but I did pick up this little midi ring. Super cute and dainty. And it was about $4. I picked up this keychain. I love these little puffball keychains, and I've been wanting one of these as well. Um, so adorable. I'm This one's small, so I might put it on a purse, or I might put it on my key ring. We'll see. But... This was five bucks. Speaking of puff balls, we ended up going to another boutique called Necessary Clothing, and they had a whole rack of bigger puff balls. Um, I already have it on my backpack, so I'm gonna show it to you guys on there. It's so adorable. But I got this black one. I love it. I love it. I love it. Such a cute accessory. And this one was ten dollars. I guess because it was a bigger one. I wish I had got more in different colors, but. It is what it is. So if you've been to New York before, you probably know that um, the further you walk in Soho, I believe it's down Broadway, you eventually hit Canal Street. Canal Street is a whole different vibe. There's dozens and dozens of street vendors um, selling a lot of knockoff stuff, a lot of knockoff bags, you know, not Michael Kors, but Michael Norris, and you know, not Gucci, but Pucci, yeah. So even though I don't think I'll ever get used to the aggressiveness of people trying to sell you these fake things and getting this close to your face and Gucci Louis Prada, Gucci Louis Prada, like it's it's really crazy. Um, I still go over there because you can find some good stuff if you don't really care too much about, you know, name brands and things like that. So while I was on Canal Street, I actually picked up two watches, one that I have on now. I don't know who they're knocking off with this watch, but I've been really wanting some big face watches. And I definitely wanted one that was black because I wear a lot of black. Yeah, so I love this watch. Um, I also got this one with a red or burgundy strap. That's also a big face watch. Now the good thing about Canal Street, um, you can bargain with these people like literally it seems like they're kind of desperate for a sale because all you have to do is act like you're about to walk away and they will lower their prices it's really really simple so they were trying to sell these watches for $41 and 8 cents and I got them each for 20 because nah one of the days we were there we met up with one of my really good friends who's actually like my big sis from college and she took us to a few really cool stores First, we went to the Patricia Field store. Um, my big sister Naja really wanted us to check it out because it's actually, it actually closed. It closed, I wanna say, like the day before we left. And um, 
It was one of the coolest stores. I'm really sad that it's closing down and I'll never have the opportunity to experience it again, but it has such a cool like 90s fashion section. If you don't know, Patricia Field is actually the designer from Sex in the City. So it was really cool to be able to check that out for the first and last time. While we were with Naja, we also went over to St. Mark's Place and went into some of the like punk rock stores. There were like two big ones over there and one is actually also closing down and moving to another area. Supposedly like the punk rock and like glam rock scene over there is like fading away and they're putting up a lot of other types of stores I don't really know but this one's moving somewhere else but we stopped in there I've really been wanting to pick up a few band t-shirts and I was able to get this one at Trash and Baldville it's a blondie shirt it's actually my little nickname from some of my friends because I'm always rocking blonde hair but yeah I thought this was cool and it was $23 my last purchases are actually beauty related. Um, we ended up checking out the e.l.f. studio and I just picked up some lashes. I don't know, I really don't even wear lashes that often, mostly on like special occasions, but they're only a dollar, so I just picked up four. Two days in a row while we were in New York, um, we actually stopped at one of their huge beauty supply store chain huge we actually stopped at one of their huge beauty supply store chains called Ricky's and I got something both times that we went now guys I have said before in my videos that I do not consider myself a makeup guru I know just enough to get by and I've always been content with that but more recently I've decided that I want to learn a little bit more about makeup I'm going to start watching some tutorials and I've been investing in my collection and actually talking to my best friend Amber because she's really really into makeup I definitely needed some new brushes so Amber pointed me to this kit that was in Ricky's and it's the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend 10 piece brush set. And this was $20 for, you know, 10 brushes. And I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Um, it comes with a bunch of blending brushes, contouring brushes, angled brushes. I don't know anything about, <laughs> I don't know anything about this stuff, but supposedly I'm gonna need all of these at some point so I'll show you guys a few of them but yeah there's like some angled ones like this one's like flat at the top you guys I, I'm gonna learn and now I feel like I have the tools to really get my makeup game up this next purchase from Ricky is a little bit harder to make because I don't really understand it, but Amber, you know, insisted that I get this as well, and it's a beauty blender. I, maybe I will understand it more as I learn more about makeup, but I don't understand why a little sponge costs $20. I, I don't, I don't, but I got one in black, and hopefully it'll make my face flawless. On another day, we ended up hitting up Harlem for brunch, and we did a little bit of exploring, and we actually went to the Carol's Daughter store. I didn't plan to get anything at first, but I saw they had almond cookie hand cream, a little small one that I can keep in my purse. My hands get so dry in the winter, so this will definitely be getting used, even though winter's almost over. I mean, you never know. You never know you're going to be a little ash. You're going to put them this lotion on it'll get to use I promise it'll get used but it was only like 650 almond cookies makes me hungry I said that my final things were beauty related but while I was in Harlem I can't forget to mention that I also made another purchase and I got a new piercing I've always really been into piercings and tattoos and I have quite a few um quite a few in my ears so I decided to add one. I got my conch pierce, guys. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, so my conch piercings inside the ear like that and it comes out the back. And yeah, the piercings were only $25 at this um, tattoo shop called Harlem Hype. They're really cool people. Amber got her nose pierced for the third time 
and I got my conch pierce. So I was really excited about that. That was something that I actually planned to do in New York if I had the time. So I got it done. So that's all I got, guys. Um, all my other money probably went towards food. Um, if you check out my blog post on my website, pagemariah.com, you'll pretty much see a day-by-day -day rundown of everything that we did while we were in New York City. Um, we had such a great time. We ate some great food. I got to see a lot of my friends that I haven't seen in almost two years. Um, it was just an amazing trip and I didn't want to leave. Yeah, I want to visit as much as possible until I can make it a permanent thing. We'll see. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, everyone, it's Paige back with another video. You all will have to excuse my voice, but I've been.